Hey guys, I'm back. So my girlfriends and I, we went to Dollar Tree. And here on the table, you're seeing everything that we purchased. Collectively, we spent a bit under $90. So in total for all of these goodies here that you're seeing on the table is $86.85. I want you guys to try and guess which one's mine. So here's box number one, box number two, box number three. Box number one, oh my gosh, look at all those goodies in there, guys. It's approximately $40 worth of items. Box number two is approximately $24. And box number three is $29. I'm going to do is I'm gonna unbox everything, show you all the items, put them on the table, come back at the end with everything out of their packages and ask you guys again to guess. The first two people to guess, I have a special treat for you. I'm not sure what that is right now, but I do. All right, here we are. So in, in front of me, I've got box number one and it's random. It's not in any particular order. I'm just gonna go through each one individually. First thing I'm gonna pull out of the box is the Paw Patrol 24 piece puzzle. And from the brand Cooking Concepts, I've got four burner covers. These are super duper cute. They've got the whole wine and cheese thing happening there. So I've got the four. There's two large ones and two small ones. Dollar Tree is amazing. I have here a rose gold spray bottle. Super cute. Got a nightlight. This was an emergency purchase. This we actually went in to get because we need a nightlight up at the cottage because as you can see from my background, I'm not at home. A new black and white shower curtain. A cute little Mickey eight color pen, ballpoint pen. You can just click it at the top with all the different color. Grandchild gift. Scissors. Got a pack of flashcards right here. Reading glasses because you can never have too many reading glasses. Got some striped little fuzzy slipper, super duper cute with like a little bit of faux Sherpa lining. Very cozy and cute. A new grater. I'm impressed with this. This is looks like a really good quality. Feels very sharp. It's black and modern. These books in Canada are usually about $4. And here I've got the Sesame Street numbers book with the Count Dracula. Sorry about the light, guys. I'm not sure how it's looking. Here is a little Paw Patrol crossword puzzle, 24 pieces. Earphones. Again, this is another item that you can never have too many of. A little Paw Patrol surprise bag. Can you tell the grandkids like Paw Patrol? Three soup mugs with fall coming. You can just have your nice chili and your soups in these mugs. They're comfortable. Here's a blue one, a white, and a red one. Love, love, love having soup and mugs, guys. Comment down below and let me know if you prefer to have your soup in a mug or if you prefer to have it in a bowl. And you can also use these, as I said, for chili cereal. Potato peeler. And I've got three white soup bowls. Soup or cereal bowls. These are quite nice. I like the design up at the top. A two pack chopping mat. These are great when you're chopping your veggies and stuff and when you're done, you just rinse it off, slide it back into your cabinet. I also like to use these on the cutting board. So if I'm cutting chicken, I could just use this, rinse it off and use a cutting board to cut cheese or fruits or whatever. And they had shirts for a dollar. So we all bought these t-shirts. So this one here, we've got a red, a black and a pink one. 
Box number two, as I said, we all purchased t-shirts. So in this one, there's two t-shirts. So we've got the pink one and the red one. I think these were an amazing price for a dollar. A package of 30 makeup rounds. These ones are pretty good because they're quite large so you can use them for when you're toning your skin. Fuzzy slippers, but these ones are in the animal print outside with like the faux Sherpa. Lemon pepper. Fruit and nut bar. these wet and wild polishes for a while they're actually pretty good actually so there's like a burgundy plum color and a clear one two bottles of hydrogen peroxide which seems to be so scarce right now uh, we went we all wanted rubbing alcohol but there was none scarring pads two bars of dove coconut milk soap mm. doesn't really smell anything like coconut milk. <laughs> a Pears brand soap, glycerin soap. This is one of those dispensers. You can use this for your nail polish remover or when you're traveling, you can put your toner in here. Some organizational plastic bins. So here's three white ones. This was a treat. Everyone was saying in Toronto, it's very difficult to get the white ones. Here we are at a town and we found them. So we've got three like this and another three. These are more like the basket type ones. one again here's more shirts this time we have a pink a blue a red and a black one three white bowls for cereal or soups lavender scented hand soap four packages of cleansing cloths these are great guys what you could do with these is that you can add tea tree oil or something like that and you can keep these in your car package of razors, a spoon, hair ties. <laughs> I have here three deodorant sprays and two dishes. All right, so that's number three. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay them all out on the table, go over everything in each section for the number one, two, and three. Again, comment down below and let me know out of the three batches, which one you think is mine. And the first two people that guess, I'm going to figure out a little treat. Here's everything on the table. So from where my hand is over, this is number one, person number one. Let me know if you think I purchased all of this. Here with the baskets at the back is person number two. And then over on the side here, starting with the dish and the spoon, is person number three. That is it for this video. Would love if you liked, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. That makes sense? Okay.